Hey, bro. I, I don't know if you can hear me or not. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, bro. Now I can hear you loud and clear. No stress. Sweet. Cool. How's things, how's things with you? Yeah, good. You? Good. Yeah, not too bad, mate. I'm uh, out of NZ at the moment, but I'll be back um, back very shortly in a couple of days. Yep. Yeah, so no, nah, that's cool. Hey, thanks for reaching out, man. How did you come across me? Uh, from Sean, yeah, at Home Apprentice. Um, oh, cool. Yep. Yeah, so you just saw our stuff. When I think you might have shared something on our page and then... Yes. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, sweet, bro. Yeah. No, that's good. So have you been through, like, the Instagram? Have you just had a look at videos and, and stuff like that? Uh, yeah, I've signed up to your newsletter as well. Oh, um, cool, man. Yeah, that's good. So I'm, I've been building... I'm, mate, I'm from England uh, yeah, for nice. 12 years. Yeah. Uh, so I just sort of recently came qualified and licensed. I just thought I'd sort of give it a go on my own. Yeah, 100%, man. Absolutely. Um, so what kind of work at the moment have you been doing? Uh, mainly alterations and stuff, if I'm honest. Yeah, yeah. So like kind of what's your like average job value of doing stuff like that? Oh, between 20 and 30. Yeah. And you're, are you doing that on charge up or fixed price or how are you doing it? Uh, yeah, so I'm confident in quoting, you know, the smaller stuff. Yeah. Um, mainly for the fact that if I miss a couple of, say, jib boards or something like that, I can cover the costs from my labour point of view. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, but cheap. the one I sent you is a little bit big for me. Yeah. Um, no, no, that's that's absolutely fine. So on those um on those ones that you're quoting, like, what are you doing your hourly rate at? What are you doing your margin at? How are you sort of breaking it down? Uh, so my labour is fifty dollars an hour. And you're putting and you're putting a license on that as well. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be cranking that hourly rate up, my friend. Do you reckon? Absolutely, bro. 100%. I'm in Christchurch. Not I'm yeah. not not in Auckland. Okay. Um, yeah, Christchurch. Yeah, Christchurch is a different market. Um, I have a couple guys down there that that are building. Uh, one mate, Ireland. He'd be, yeah, he'd be sixty-five, seventy LBP. But he does everything fixed price, but he prices everything at 75. And then anything project management wise or additional site meetings, he's charging 90 just for your own word of advice. Right. It just depends how you like value yourself or position yourself. Do you know what I mean? And this isn't a bad thing. This is good. This is just so you can hear the other, this is so you can just hear other, other facts, you know? Yeah. See, yeah, that's, I would never have said 90. 65 i could sort of understand but yeah yeah oh 90 uh, would be is like for project management time so like if yeah. the clients are doing like ridiculous call outs after hours or wanting stuff sorted that's a little bit ridiculous then he'll do 90. yeah yeah but no that's cool mate. so what, you'd set it at what come up to 60. i reckon what you should just do is just test the waters mate so you're at 50 on your next couple of jobs go for 60. And if they still say yes, too easy, go to 65. And then maybe you can progress up to 65 over the coming three to four months. Depending on what's right. happening in your market in Christchurch. Like in Auckland, I think we were sort of about to experience a slowdown this year. But now with these yep. floods coming, I think everyone's we're gonna be everyone's gonna be crammed for another yeah. two years. So it's like depends what the market's doing. So you would know Christchurch better than me, but like these sets of plans that have come through, have they come through a client, an architect? How have they come through? Um, another builder, to be honest. Um, oh, really? Yeah. So he's not licensed. He's qualified. And yep. he was supposed to do it with a licensed builder, but they pulled out for some reason. Okay. So he texted me, well, rang me and said, let's meet up. I've got this job. Are you interested? Yeah. And me being, I'm 28, I sort of thought, you know, it'd be quite a good job for me to get sort of try and get me out there a little bit um yeah yeah so i yeah, said I yes but yeah okay so when what what's been your comments with the client at the moment uh so i, I had a phone call with her um yeah. just to see sort of you know where she's at and what what she's sort of expecting and had she had any of the prices and that sort of stuff um yeah. and did, did she have a rough budget in mind um so she's had a quote for 350,000 plus GST. 
Yeah. Um, and she said she didn't even respond to the order. She felt insulted. Um, felt and she's not prepared. Yeah, she felt insulted, yeah. Jesus. Yeah, interesting. Uh, and she's not prepared to disclose sort of how much she's expecting to pay. Yeah, that's a that's a yeah, do put a put a price in, but I, I get I get a little bit peeved off when people are not disclosed on how much they're prepared to pay. It's like if you're yeah. gonna go car shopping, it's like, well, what if what funds have you got available for? Because I'm not gonna take you to the Ferrari shop if you can only afford afford focus, you know? It's like Yeah, so that was a little bit of a red flag for me, I've got to be honest. I sort of yeah, thought, well, I, I can understand her point of view. You know, if she tells me she's expecting it to cost 200000 and I can do it for a hundred, I'm not going to yeah. do it. But we've got to be transparent somewhere. Yeah, um, absolutely. Because I just didn't want to spend too much time. Like, yeah. this, for me, the certain process, I've got no idea. And yeah. I thought, I'm going to spend days and days ringing people and trying to get the job. But I might be way over her expectations anyway. Yeah, and then you've just done 25 hours worth of work and then she still won't disclose her budget and she still won't, yeah. she won't do it anyway. So, yeah, I mean, that's why guys send out ridiculous quotes when they get clients like this. So from a learning perspective, right. thing 28 is like, number one, this might be a red flag and this might not be a job that'll go ahead. But number two, we'll still have a savvy crack at it. We'll still try and get her to commit to some sort of buyer's commitment fee. And we'll still produce yep. a QS report, and then you've got a piece of data that you can use for a long time, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. All right. Well, let's let's look at doing that, mate. So I can, I think about four months ago, I sent like a PDF version out of like, uh, to try and help people. It's like a sort of a text or email style communication of trying to get clients to pay for QS fees. Um, so I yep. could send that through to you, and then you could go through that and try that with her. Um, see how that goes and because I think it would be really good for her to at least pay for half of a QS fee for this job yeah. but if not anyway like this is still a piece of um, a piece of paper or a document that you've got for your own experience that you can work off so even if we still yeah. go ahead and just do this do this price for you um, you'll still have a bit of paper that you can use for reference for your next couple of jobs you know that's what I, I find yeah. like some people will use me once or twice to get like a full template down for a couple of jobs. And then they use them for the next jobs and just rejig their own numbers, which is completely fine. Right. Yeah. So if you're happy with something like that, like I could send that through to you on email um, and then you have a think about it. Um, you can use it and then maybe we can still go ahead, do the pricing. Um, but I'd really like to see if you can get her to commit to at least a half the fees, you know? So what, what would your price be to sit and price the, those plans yeah can have a quick look. so pretty much you've got i'm just going through this now so i've got an existing floor plan yeah those four plans. so you've got a debt coming out the front you've got removing uh, she doesn't want the deck priced <laughs> no deck okay so you've got removing existing walls opening up all that internal so is yep. that a full is it a full reclad uh, on the outside yeah all to be okay. corrugated iron oh Full reclad. Yeah, so I pretty much break down my pricing into sort of three tiers, bro. So there's like your minimum basic, like full concept pricing, which sort of starts at 1200 bucks. A full scale, like luxury new build estimate comes in at around three and a half to four and a half K. But a job like this would be around 1500 to 1600 plus GST. It's not a massive job, but there's still a full reclad component and there's internal components. And we'll be doing like a full takeoff for sub trades, materials, and, um, and labor as well so those would sort of be my costs so depends if you're willing to pay that or you want to try and get her to commit to some of it or at least say if the job doesn't go ahead um she can pay half you know yeah i only yeah i think just because i've started i don't i don't want to commit like nothing against your prices i'm happy no, to pay fine. you but i don't want to commit to a full say 16 plus GST if yeah. she's got no intention of even doing the job. Okay. Well, why don't we just do like, why don't we just spend in half the time, do half the bill and we'll just put a concept price like package together so we can just go like labor X amount, break down the subbies into their components, but we won't break them right down and then we'll just do an estimated cost of materials. So 
instead of it being probably 150 line item sheet, it might be like a 50, but at least we can send yeah. that send address document back to her and then you can at least tell her for your first one, hey, I've actually invested a bit of money in a QS on this job. I'm really, really interested. Here's a price proposal. Um, are you open to talking about what your budget might be now? Right. See, I, I still think she should pay some of it. That's my point. Like Absolutely, absolutely man. So, I'll, so what we'll do is for that step one, I'll send through that like PDF document through to you, have a read of that, yep. have a call with her, have an email with her, text it, send it through to her, however you want to do it, see what she yep. says, see if she's open to it. She might be completely not open to it, which is fine. And then at least you know that she's a waste of time. Or she might say, shit, that's a fantastic idea. I'm happy to pay half and let's get a like good market indication on what this job will cost. Yeah, so if if she refuses, do you think just step away or throw we'll just throw in a you can just throw in a ballpark price. I'll try and help you out and just throw in a ballpark. Won't be three fifty plus GST, but yeah, if she's not willing to give you even a price indication, it's a bit painful, you know. That's just like, well, what am I doing here? It's almost like chasing a girl that's showing no interest. <laughs> yeah, right. That see yeah. that yeah. Like, I want the job just for the you know the job really absolutely but i don't want to waste my time and everybody else's time money and fucking energy if she's got no intention you know like if her budget is 100k then there's no point in me even getting the plans i should have just not bothered yeah no you're absolutely right so um i completely agree um <clears throat> okay well let's um i'll send that pdf document through now have a read of that chat with me via email we can try and you can try and have a discussion with her around getting her to pay for half of these fees and just list all the time that's yep. going to go into it um let me know what she says and then we can go back from there and go step two or yeah yeah i, I think she should just do it and oh, then she okay. knows what she's expecting that's the thing 100 percent. she'll be fluffing around she would have spent 20k on these plans in council and um and now she's going to struggle to get a serious quote of a builder if she's not going to give any indication of cost so yeah, she's yeah, gonna waste, she's gonna. She, waste she, her own yeah, money. I think she was offended that I asked her what she was willing to, like, what her budget was. But uh, yeah, I see both sides. I see her side, and I also understand my side. Yeah, like, time's not free, you know. No, exactly. In, in that she, sense. Should, she should understand that. So, okay, mm -hmm. mate. Hey, um, I'll send this PDF through. Um, we can go from right. there, break some stuff down, and um, we'll keep in contact. Eh? But I'll definitely try and help you yeah. win this job, and I'll definitely try and help you to get to pay half the fees right sweet cool. cool yeah thank you for that appreciate your time nah awesome mate i'll send that through and we'll uh we'll stay in touch okay yeah sweet thank you all right mate cheers josh talk soon catch you later see ya Bye.